Hello, family. All right, so there's this conversation that I get very often, the conversation on should ladies ask guys out. Like, is it biblical? You know, show me a place in the scripture where it says that the guy must ask a lady out. Show me, show me, Pishalom, show me. <laughs> All right, I think the first thing that you must know is that the Bible is mm, not necessarily doctrinal about everything, right? Not everything in the Bible has a doctrinal standpoint, like this is how you do. Like salvation, if you want to be saved, you have to give your life to Jesus Christ. Jesus is the only way to God, right? But there are topics that don't have um, doctrinal perspective. What they have is cultural, what they have is first mention, okay, patterns that we see in the Bible, and then we can come up with a conclusion based on those patterns. And the pattern we see in the Bible for a relationship, first of all, is um, that the man receives the woman that is presented, right? The pattern did not show maybe a man asks the lady out or the lady asks the man out, no. It's just that God presented the man, the woman to the man, right, Adam, and Adam received uh, the wife also we see that abraham sent elias to go get a wife for isaac so we see patterns like that in the bible where men do the proposing right but what i want to say is that because there is no established doctrine on a matter like that usually what you have to do is take your culture take your tradition and filter it through the lenses of the scripture and come up with an answer um, you know that best fits your context right but what I would advise, if there is a case where you feel a strong emotional attraction to a man or something like that, you carry your pastor along. Don't be smarter than your pastor. Carry your pastor. This is for people that are born again. Oh, if you are in the world, me or more, do whatever you like. But uh, if you are a born again person, then you have to carry somebody, a spiritual person along. Let the person lead you through that process and obviously work you through the success. So everybody will have peace there will not be trouble anywhere you'll not be hearing your name and say ah all these touch brothers they are deceitful we are not deceitful no. well go through the right process god bless you follow me on instagram at shalom underscore and you know you find about close to 100 hours of teaching on telegram <laughs>